Welcome to the video of Embedded C program for LED flashing, the compilation of program and simulation using Keel software. So here we will write an embedded C program to flash LEDs which are connected to port 2 of 8051 microcontroller. So for this we are going to use this interfacing diagram. So to this 8051, you can connect here reset circuit where 8.2 kilo ohm resistor is connected to plus 5 volt supply and reset terminal that is pin number 9 of 8051 and the capacitor is connected between pin number 9 and ground. Value of capacitor is 10 microfarad. The clock is connected that means crystal is connected between pin number 18 and pin number 19. The crystal uses 11.0592 megahertz. Uh, this 22 picofarad capacitors are connected, uh, two capacitors are connected, each at one end of this crystal and the other end of this capacitor connected to ground. You have to connect plus 5 volt supply to VCC and uh, ground to pin number 20. We are using here port 2. So 8 LEDs are connected to port 2, port P2.0 pin to P2.7 pin and you can use current limiting resistor of 1 kilo ohm. So when we send a logic 1 on this port pins, this LED will glow because anode is connected to port terminal and cathode of all LEDs are connected to ground. So when we will send a logic 1, LED will glow and when we will send a logic 0, LED turn off. So for this interfacing diagram, we will write a program in embedded C. So logic of writing program in embedded C and assembly language is same, only the format is different. So since we are writing or we are using a kill compiler, you have to include this file. So write first instruction as hash include reg. 51.h so this header file we have to include in each and every program of embedded c which we are writing for 8051 so information of this 8051 is stored in this header file so we must include this so this is the simple program so we'll write a delay function because we want to flash LEDs with some delay. So here uh, simple function is written void delay because it is not going to pass any parameter. So we can declare it as a void delay and then uh, we'll write a function. So just to keep this microcontroller busy, we can use here for loop to generate a delay. So I generally prefer of writing a functions first and then a main function. So other functions which you want to use in a program, uh, I am writing first and then I am writing a main function. So we want to use here this delay function, so void delay and then uh, you can write a for loop just to use some delay. So for for loop I am going to use variable i. So i is declared here as integer and then simple for loop i is equal to 0 i is less than or equal to 1000 i plus plus if you want to increase a delay you can increase this count and if you want to decrease delay you can decrease this count and since we don't want to do anything uh, here in for loop we don't want to write any statement in for loop we'll just uh, give this start this curly bracket and end this bracket and we will end this delay function so this is the delay function which we can call in the main program so we'll write now main program so here main pro function is written uh, we can declare it as a void because it is also not returning any parameter and then the program we are writing in while one loop while one means whatever instructions you will write in while one loop these instructions will be executed continuously so since we want to flash leds continuously we'll write instructions in while loop so while one is written here 
and in that first on port P2 will send L00H. Zero zero so in embedded C, 00 zero H that means hex number is written in this format 0x and then whatever number you want to use as a hex number should be written here. So first we'll switch off all LED. So on port P2 we are sending 0x00. Zero zero. So only we have to use the name of register. So here on P2 register we want to send 00. zero. So simply write this type of instruction. So all LEDs will switch off and then we call a delay. Delay function uh, we have already written. So we are calling this delay. So all LEDs will be in off state for this much delay period. After that we will send a logic 1 on each port. We are sending logic 1 means we want to write FFH in register P2. So FFH we are writing in hex. So in embedded C you have to write this number like this 0x. 0x this x represent hex number. So 0x FF and then semicolon. So this instruction will send a logic 1 on each port terminal and all LEDs will glow. So to keep this LEDs on for some time we will call here delay. So LEDs are off then for some time they will be in the off state then all LEDs will glow for some time they will be in the on state and we will close this while loop. So continuously this instructions will be executed because we are using here while one loop. After this we will end this main function. So this is the simple program to flash LEDs connected at port P2 continuously. Now let us see how to compile this program using kill software. So I will close this and double click on the skill icon. So this window will be open. So watch the video of uh, kill software introduction. Click on project, new project. Uh, you can create a, a folder to store your project and files associated with that project. So I am giving name to this folder as LED flash. And in this folder, we'll create a project LED flash. So LED flash is project name. So without extension, we have to give here project name and click on save. Now you can uh, select the microcontroller company, whatever you want, whichever you want to use. So I'm selecting now NXP. As per the microcontroller used in your uh, application, you can select it. 89C51RD2X. This microcontroller I have selected. You can select as per the requirement and click on OK. So here this uh, window message will display copy startup.a51 to project folder and add file to project so click on no the project is created here you can see that now we want to write a program so click on file click on new so this text one uh, folder file is open here we can type our program here I am going to copy this program. You can directly type program here. So header file is uh, copied. Then the delay loop. And then I will copy main function. So program is written here save this file so click the slave button in same folder that is led flash folder we'll save this file led underscore flash dot c so save this file with extension c so file is created but we have to include this file in our source group 
so right click on this source group and click on this add uh, existing file to group so click on this and select our c file led underscore flash click on add click on close so here you can observe that this led flash dot c file is added so now save this program again and build it here you can see the build icon or you can press f7 button so build the program uh, you can observe here if there is any error or warning so zero errors and zero warning so program is compiled now we can debug this program to debug the program click on this debug menu button so click here debug and click on start stop debug session so click on this this message will be dif dip displayed this message will be displayed evaluation code running with code size limit 2k since it is free uh, where version of kill software uh, the size limit of program must be 2 kilobytes so click on ok so it will start the debugging session you can step by step debug the program you can observe the contents of register here but now we'll uh, observe directly on the port 2 so click on peripheral here io ports are given since we are using port 2 click on port 2 here you can observe port 2 so ff means ff is given on port 2 so initially port 2 uh, leds uh, will be at logic 1 level so all will glow and uh, as per our program instructions you can observe data on port 2 here so now you can execute program step by step or you can directly run and observe output here so to directly run the program you can click on uh, run option or you can click f5 button so i'm running this program continuously so you can observe here flashing of uh, the leds whatever is connected to port p2 that is flashing if you want to execute the uh, program step by step you can stop this run option and now you can execute program step by step by using f11 so i am pressing f11 button from the keyboard and you can observe here so since uh, it is a delay loop it will execute 1000 time so when it is in delay loop uh, you can use a step over so it will directly execute that loop and come out of this loop so step over now uh, it is executing this instruction that green color bar is shown here so output on p2 port is zero then we are calling delay use step over so i am pressing key f10 so directly it will come out of the loop so click step click step out that is control f1 it will come out of this then press f11 uh, here now again it is uh, in the delay loop so you can click step out so it will come to main program so like that leds will flash you can run the program and observe here out to stop debug session click on start of debug session so this is how you can compile and simulate you can observe output using kill software